We are here at Elkmont. I'm gonna check out this little community uh, from about 100 years ago. The rich people from Knoxville will come down here and uh, kind of get away from the city, the heat and everything. So there's some legends of this uh, Elkmont area being haunted, but the only thing I've come across so far are some bats. Some nice stonework. I guess you want to be kind of careful if you're coming through here. We got some rotting wood. This would have been the kitchen. I believe after the people that would use these for getaway, you know, for vacations and everything, they uh, repurposed them for you know, workers and things like that. We got a bat up here. Well, wow. he's kind of moving too. Some of these cabins are in pretty rough shape and uh, there's others that they've restored and some I believe they're just going to tear down if they haven't already. This one's kind of neat with the red windows. Let's take a peek in here if we can. It's very tiny. Hopefully there's no bats in this one. Oh, we've got a cool fireplace right there. I love the fireplaces. The old uh, masonry and stonework. It's just amazing. They've got arrows pointing to it and Those are some park rangers talking back there. There's a whole group of them. Uh, probably, you know, working on the restoration project, which is cool. Okay, well this one looks like it could be one of the haunted ones. <laughs> it's kind of seen better days, looks like to me. It looked like at one point they were painted very, very nicely and had some color to them. Got your old kitchen here. A bathroom. There's a linoleum on the floor. So yeah, they probably had repurposed these at some point for park employees, that kind of thing. This one has a metal roof. Probably you know, the ones the one of the ones they preserve because it's got fresh paint on it, relatively fresh. It's kind of small, but hey, if you want to get away from the city. This is really impressive right here, these joints. when it has a modern ceiling fan. This one looks like it's still in better shape than the other, so maybe they'll restore it as well. Well, <clears throat> that's about the slimmest door I have ever been through. Literally, I mean, look at my arm. <laughs> These rock walls are very impressive. So of course they want to use all the uh, natural resources they can find around here. And they're doing some, uh, you know, some restoration work here, which is great. There was some talk about just tearing all this down at one point, but you know, it's history. So it's good to see them preserving it.
This is the Appalachian Clubhouse we're looking at. Um, back in 1910 or so, you know, they were used this as a social gathering place for a lot of the elite folks of Knoxville. Uh, they use it nowadays too. You can rent it out and have a special event if you like. Now it'd be pretty cool to do that in a place like this. This would be a cool place to get married, I would think. I love porches like this with rocking chairs. They've got them tied down. I presume so they don't get stolen. I mean, the wind isn't going to knock them off of here. The moss is slippery. Okay, I made it. A lot of these are pretty old, 1905, 1925. So life was pretty tough back then. Uh, you know, many people didn't make it even a day. Ownby is a name that is very common around here. Um, we've seen the cabin, the Ownby cabin, father, mother, own B lived for two years died in their 20s lived to 87 Perry did wow and some of these are just barely marked so this might be a graveyard for some of the last people that lived here because these stones look pretty, you know, modern. I know a lot of people were allowed to live here the rest of their life while the uh, park service kind of took it over. They were allowed to live out their life, which is nice. Nobody wants to leave their home. <laughs> 